Okay, in this video we're going to solve a type of differential equation known as an Euler equation. And so, just as a reminder, an Euler equ equation is of the form ax squared y double prime plus bxy prime plus cy equals zero. And there's an associated polynomial that goes along with it no known as the initial polynomial. And that's given by a times r times r minus one plus br plus c. And the roots of that polynomial govern the solutions to this differential equation. So if you have two real roots that are distinct, you get the solution that c1 x to the r1 plus c2 x to the r2. If you get um, a repeated real root, then you have c1 plus c2 natural log of x, x to the r1, and finally if you have complex conjugate roots, then you have this solution that involves sines and cosines. Okay, so here we want to look at the following differential equation. So we have uh, 6x squared y double prime plus xy prime minus 4y equals 0. And so we'll do two solutions of this. We'll do one solution that uses this uh, theorem, and then we'll do another solution that's like from scratch, which mimics the proof of this theorem. Just depending on um, who you're taking the class from, they may want you to use one method or another. So let's do solution one. Which is using the result of the theorem. The thing is, with the theorem, uh, there's not really much to do. We just notice that a is equal to 6, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 4, which tells us that we have a polynomial 6 uh, times r times r minus 1 plus r minus 4. But notice uh, that thing simplifies as follows. So we have 6r squared minus 5r minus 4. Cool. And it's not too hard to check that that factors like 2r plus 1 and then 3r minus 4. Great. And then again, uh, we can check that this has roots uh, r equals minus a half and r equals 4 thirds. Great. And so uh, the solution that we'll get will be of this form because those are two distinct real numbers. So we have a solution which is C1 um, x to the minus half plus C2 x to the four thirds. Great. And we might as well point out here that um, the interval of validity for this solution is zero to infinity, and that's actually part of this theorem which I haven't stated. Okay, good. So uh, I'll clean up the board and then we'll look at another solution. So the next solution we want to look at is uh, one that's from scratch. In other words, we guess that our solution will be of the form x to the r, and we want to determine what values that number r can take on. And so if y is equal to that, then y prime is equal to r, x to the r minus 1, and y double prime is r, r minus 1, x to the r minus 2, just using repeated applications of the product rule, or sorry, of the power rule. Now plugging that into the differential equation, we have the following. Following. So we have uh, 6x squared times y double prime. So that's going to be r times r minus 1 x to the r minus 2 plus x times y prime. So that's going to be r x to the r minus 1 and then finally minus 4 x to the r which is y and we have that's equal to 0. So now what we'll notice is this x squared can combine with this x to the r minus 2 and similarly for the x and the x to the r minus 1 and that gives us the following. So we have 6 r r minus 1 um, plus r minus 4 and all of that is being multiplied by x to the r to give us 0. And again, the interval of validity here will be um, the open interval 0 to infinity, so that x to the r term is never 0. It's also uh, never discontinuous, so really we just need to look for roots of this polynomial. But I won't check that because that's the same polynomial that we had before. And I'll just recall that my roots here are negative half and 4 thirds, which gives me uh, the same solution that I had previously. So plus C2x to the 4 thirds, and that's the final solution.